today is a day of great sadness, heartbreak and separation from a truly compassionate, merciful, illustrious Vaishnav, His Holiness Srila Bhakti Charu Swami Maharaj. We are together sharing one another's feelings of deep grief in separation. And Bhakti Charu Swami Maharaj, we know he's just enthusiastic, ready, and eager to be anything that Srila Prabhupada wants him to be at this moment and forever. When Bhakti Charu Swami Maharaj was there with Srila Prabhupada in the last weeks, it was Srila Prabhupada's pastime to wish to do the Govardhan Parikrama. And Bhakti Charu Maharaj, in his total surrender with love for Srila Prabhupada, was a part of that pastime. So everything is so divinely orchestrated by Srimati Radharani, by Sri Madhava, and by Srila Prabhupada. I humbly, sincerely appeal to all of Srila Bhakti Charu Swami Maharaj's um, disciples, followers, and I include myself as a follower of Bhakti Charu Swami Maharaj, that please know for sure that Srila Prabhupada called for him. Srila Prabhupada called for him and Bhakti Charu Swami Maharaj responded. And there was nothing and no one that could come between them. It was a divine arrangement that he come to America. And Srila Prabhupada called him and Bhakti Charu Swami Maharaj, who loves all of us more than we can ever understand what love is, he responded to Srila Prabhupada's call. Krishna gave us a chance before Maharaj departed from this world to really appreciate within our hearts how much he means to us through our intense prayers through our feelings of hopelessness through our feelings of helplessness taking shelter of his mercy and through his mercy the mercy of Srila Prabhupada and the Panchatattva so yes I do believe that Bhakti Charu Swami Maharaj was called by Srila Prabhupada and external circumstances. There's no reason to really try to figure those things out. His departure is perfect. The external circumstances um, are details. A person who has surrendered his life his soul to the service of Guru in compassion to others, we know that the whole parampara is with that person. That Sri Radha Madhava was present at that time. And actually, maybe not on a physical level, but on a spiritual level, there were there are tens and thousands of devotees who are around his bedsides and heart, praying and chanting and, and crying in love for him. He was not alone. Bhakti Charu Swami is with us. And 
he's bringing us all to Srila Prabhupada, which is the only wish of his life, to bring us closer to Srila Prabhupada and in doing so, to bring us closer to each other. Bhakti Charu Swami Maharaj very much um, emphasized the family of Iskand, the family of Srila Prabhupada's movement. And it's times like this when taking his instruction very much to heart is so important because in times of crisis, a family really needs to come together. I'm very speechless and feel very helpless at this time. Still, I feel Maharaja's presence. I feel and I see and I experience his smile, his glance of affection. And that is empowering me and it can empower all of us to move forward in Srila Prabhupada's service. Bhakti Charu Swami Maharaj Ki Jai. <laughs>